Rana. I'm in Mississauga. And just about here, all along. I've been retired for a couple of years now. COVID-19 caused me to sell my boat. I was very lucky to do so. You <laughs> get a good price for it. So I'm happy with that. But I can't be out here anymore. Two reasons. One, I ain't got no money. But two, most importantly, I am probably too old for it. I'll be 70 at the end of this year. On average, I got two to four more years of life. Of course, I knew that this was coming. And I am packing everything that I possibly can into my life. To make me happy, to keep me happy, and to be proud of parts of my life that I'm now living. But to what end? I mean, aside from <laughs> aside from the termination of me, what else is there? I don't think there is anything. That's that's my opinion. I don't think the zoom is going to work very well. Probably gonna be really fuzzy. That's society there. And this is not. This is planet Earth, and I'm standing on it. And either in a couple of years or <laughs> hopefully a decade, there won't be any more. I will no longer exist. My body will be wherever it's going to be for a few months and then it's not going to be anymore. But the me that's talking to you right now, I'm assuming that you're gonna see this hopefully in a couple of years. I won't I won't be in existence anymore. This is just noise on your computer or television. I was born and raised Catholic and had no idea what it was all about. I just followed the rules, followed the procedures, accepted for fact what they told me until I started looking into it and then I changed my mind. I decided to step away from that. I'm not atheist, but Neither am I Christian or Muslim or what else is there? Jewish, Hindu, Buddhist. Gosh, there's a whole bunch of them out there that claim to be the God representative here on earth. And I don't accept any of them. That's the point. I don't say there's no God. I say that there's no God that they're trying to talk about. These rocks. I know how they got there. I know how this entire planet got here. How the sun over there somewhere, I know how it got here. How the stars, which you're not showing yet, how they got here. I have a pretty good idea. I have a pretty good idea. Not that it matters. But there's no guy sitting on a big chair with long flowing hair and a beard and he knows everything and everybody what was, what's going to be and however they wrote about him and he did. It's just not. 
But the rocks are here. And the stars and the moon and the galaxies and James Webb Space Telescope that shows us that 13.7 or 8. 13.7 billion years ago, all this got a start. What happened before that? <laughs> Could be God, who knows? Nobody does, not even the scientists, and you know, they have no idea either. But I'm me, I'm, I'm the person that's doing the talking and the feeling and the identification of me. Doesn't matter what my name is, what matters is there's a me inside here that I'm doing the thinking and the feeling and I feel me. I am me. Just like the ducks and the fish. Well, maybe not so much the fish. The ducks have a bit of emotions. You can tell that when they start fighting each other. Birds, cats, dogs, chimpanzees, elephants, dolphins, octopi, octopus. They, they all think. So do I. So do you. I can't prove that you exist. I think therefore I am is as far as I can get logically, which is what I was just pointing to. But I'm pretty sure you're there. And if this is 10 years later and you're listening to it, I'm not here, but you are. And you're a you. You have a me inside of you. What is that? Don't know. I just know that it is. As Descartes says, I think, therefore I am. And then, what happens when I'm not? Don't know. I know what all the religions say, and some of it's kind of absurd, and some of it's kind of interesting. But I've experienced surgery before where they have anesthetized me. And count back from 10, 9, 8. Wake up, wake up, wake up. It's all over. Four hours later, six hours later. Where was I? The me inside this body was not here. But I came back. Why? Because the gray matter is still functioning and recording all memories and or what memories that we have left that I didn't skip the time between I counted backwards from 10 to the time that they were trying to wake me up that's death that's dead that's the me no longer exists and that's what I'm thinking about about me, my brother, my sister, my mom, my dad, you, the dog, the cat that wants to pester me all day. This is the sunset of my life and this is the things that I'm thinking about because I don't have to go to work today or yesterday or tomorrow or whatever. It's sunset. It's time for me to head back to the apartment. And whatever comes after that, I will do my level best to enjoy. Thank you for listening to me. Y'all have a nice day or night.